Hello? Hello? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Look at that. This is one of your babies? Yes, it is. We have uh, This is the one that is worn by Andrew, our actor, dancer. Okay. And uh, he wears this on top of a very large suit and stilts. How much fun was it to work on such an iconic character? It is, it's wonderful actually, but it does take a large team. There's a lot of people involved in it to get it to this point. Sure. So, um, you know, like closely 14 people have worked on it. Oh my, can I get up close? Yes, definitely. Oh my goodness, hello handsome. Oh, so I feel some hard fiberglass bits and yes. some rubber bits and... And foam latex. Foam latex. And. Yes, there's quite a different, lot of techniques yeah. to get it to this point. And to keep it moving, because yeah, the function is that it moves gracefully right. when it's on him. Um, were there any design things about this that are really specific to this film? It looks very much like the alien I remember. It is less mechanically looking. It's actually a, a lot more organic. But, oh, um, yeah, of course. Now I see that. Because you, you have to stay true to what it was which is, you know, it comes with gravitas. It's, you know, we've been there for, you know, 15, 20 years now, 25 years. Yeah. Um, so we do have to stay true to it, but evolve. Yeah. So this is um, a little bit more organic. It's a little bit more hints of human through it. Yeah. Which the other ones were a lot more mechanical. Now I notice he's got some blood in his teeth. Has he eaten recently? He has. Okay. Yes, a lot. <laughs> and, and this is part of your continuity <laughs> challenge to make sure he's ready for each scene? Yes. Okay. Make sure the blood is happening. The actor is wearing a complete covering bodysuit? No, it, uh, he, he's using it as a puppeteer, which means there is a whole cage, which is ribs, that goes over him. It mm -hmm. has all steel bracing, oh. steel and aluminium bracing, that holds the weight of the head so that he come, the head comes in and goes straight onto a backbone. That's really nice for him. Yes, very nice for him, because it means he can take it around the waist. Yeah, yeah. The arms are quite separate and quite long and, and sinewy. So the arms are puppeteered outside. So he's, oh, hanging okay. onto the, he's hanging onto the arms. He then has legs put on to a half point, and then we put stilts on him. So he's incredibly tall. He is incredibly tall by the end of it. Seven and a half feet, eight um, feet? Nine. Nine feet? Yes. Oh my God, yes. he's Bigfoot, he's when, a soft squat. <laughs> when he has his stilts on, they're quite, it's quite high. He then has to move and dance through and become, you know, bring the poetry to it, really. Right, and that's a dance between you and the actor on set, yes, right? Your yes, operators. The operators, yes. That's, a, that's really cool. Now, when you're, when you're operating it on set with the actor, is Ridley calling out the stage directions? Is he in your ear yes, saying, yes. make him growl, make him look to yeah. the left, that sort of? Yep. So it's really just all happening, like puppeteering Instantly, in the yes. moment. And turn around, you hear somebody. Turn quickly, turn very quickly, and go to the door. How many heads did you make for the production, all told? Uh, the stunt heads, full heads, hero heads? Uh, there's seven, I think. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. It's, yeah. And each, you know, serving a different purpose as right. well. Right. For shooting and narratively. Yes. So yeah. how much is Ridley visiting the shop while you're in process? Or is a fair it... bit, actually, really? yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't go ahead. <laughs> the, the first time he comes in and sees like it all assembled, does he say something like, hello, old friend? <laughs> I'm sure he would have. <laughs> I mean, this is really like, he, this, this design sort of ushered in yes. the genuinely scary, something way beyond a man in a rubber suit. Yep. Yes, it did. And still, the 1979 one, the promo for the 1979, it's still frightening. Terrifying. Still. <laughs> so what I remember from the 1979 one, I was too young to see the movie. I didn't like to. I didn't like scary movies at that point. Right. But my father was an artist, and my sister was in art school, and they both came back from seeing Alien. And I said, "What did the Alien look like?" And they both drew completely different oh, wow. things. And I thought, "That's <laughs> awesome."